I'm ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer, and I'm taking you inside the numbers on the growth of data centers around the U.S. and in Arizona. So let's face it, our digital lives are now stored on the cloud. And what is the cloud but a massive collection of servers? That means a lot of data centers, but it's nothing compared to what is needed to support generative AI. Let me show you the data here. If there's one chart you need to remember, it's this one. Spending on data center construction since 2014, a steady rise from just a few billion to over 10 billion between 2014 and 2022. Impressive. But in November of that year, OpenAI released ChatGPT to the public and data center construction exploded, tripling in size to the over $40 billion it is today. Here's what that means for Arizona. According to the company Aterio, there are 79 data centers currently in operation around the state. 32 are under construction and 112 new data centers have been announced. The 111 already built or under construction ranks Arizona in the top 10 data center states. We're joined by the usual suspects, more populous states like California, Texas, Ohio, and Illinois, but no state comes close to the undisputed data center king, Virginia, with 439 of them. But we are such a big player in this space that we remain in the top 10 for data center states, even when accounting for population differences. There are 15 data centers here for every 1 million Arizonans. One thing this has done is help fuel Arizona's job boom in building construction. Today, there are double the number of construction workers there were 10 years ago. Nationwide, building construction employment is only up about 45%. It's a slightly different story, though, for jobs associated with running data centers. They grew steadily from 2014 to 2022 adding 40% to the payrolls before starting a decline. They're up more, but growth has stalled since 2023 in the U.S. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.